Hello guys, with yesterday news of Facebook and today, we try just to see how um, Facebook got down and what is the impact of news. As you might know, earnings, you should choose always. Uh, I say it in all my videos. If you don't want risk, don't stay in the news. It means uh, either after the market close or before the market close, you should be aware of this. Okay? And I have told uh, uh, my subscribers before that they should decide. Okay? Decide what they should do. They stay. If they stay, there are two things that will happen. Either a gap up or a gap down. Okay? Now, if you don't want to stay, and you you have accumulated some uh, profits and you don't want to have the risk of um, of the news so you should sell before the market close okay so let's see what did happen with uh, facebook with, from the chart as you can see now facebook reached the highest high of this year which is 218 dollars 62 cents this is the high of wednesday okay and uh, it closed at 217 dollars 50 cents now what did happen from 217.50 it goes to 167 dollars 26 which is too much but understand that this is normal in the market i have seen stocks that go 90 percent down not just to 20 or 30 or 50. now let's uh, let's go back so thursday which is today the stock goes uh, opens at one 175 it goes like two dollars to 173.75 but you know uh there is no more short sellers okay no more people want to short sell because it's done so the guys have been uh, pushing the stock up until 180 dollars 13 cents and then it goes back to 176 dollars 26 uh, 26 cents 169 million 700 thousand shares traded a day so it is too much now um they say that the reason first you should understand uh, how this news impact the price now the analysts they have an estimate okay how much should an investor get if he has one share and when the company announces the news they will compare if the company has good news most of the time most of the time we have a gap up now if the news are bad they are less than what the analyst has said so the price will go down but for me uh, when i see the price yesterday on Wednesday, I see something strange. So in order to explain to you this, it's not just short sellers. There should be a mutual fund or two or three that they sell after the news. They, they are maybe, they are just wait, waiting for a time to sell and this is the, the, best, the best time to sell because if they don't sell at this time, um, they lose a lot of money. So let's go to the uh, to explanation okay so the stock uh, facebook was going go up here as we said then after the news i see like this it means that the after they hear, they hear the news the stock has been going down so badly and then it stops and then we see that there are some people who are selling, selling, selling until it stops. And then 
it goes up. It, it, this is what happened yesterday. Okay? This is what happened yesterday. Now, uh, I think <clears throat> the stock has, has been to 165 and then it goes to 173 at 7.59 p.m. Okay, this is how, <coughs> excuse me, this is how the stock has been doing. And here, as you know, it is 217. This is in general, okay? So, this is the news that I saw yesterday. This is the news effect on on the stock but this part here it should be someone who is big who are, who is maybe a mutual friend or something like that because because the stock after the news it dropped dramatically I, I don't know I didn't check how much it dropped but it could be like $15 or something this is the news okay this is the news effect but what after that, it was some people who are selling. And then it goes down, it stops. And this, what you see at green here, from 165 to 173, what is it? Okay, what is it this that you see here? This is all after the market hours. This is short sellers, short sellers covering back their short so they cover their short it means they buy back so they buy back from 165 up to 173 it means eight dollars per share it goes up this is because the short sellers they don't want to stay until until Thursday. This is Thursday here. Okay, just to understand what did happen. So everything is done on Wednesday. This is Wednesday, Wednesday here after the market hours. So that's why Thursday nothing has happened. Okay, Thursday nothing has happened, and we can go there and we see. So the news, as I said. It's around from 10 to $15. This is the news effect. But after that, it should be mutual funds selling. And those who, do, who does the news and they short sell the stock, they continue to sell short stock when they see that mutual funds are selling because it's too much. It means yesterday it was $44 lost for each share, okay, which is uh, a lot. Uh, for Facebook, and it was about 20% of, of the stock. So this is what happened yesterday. Now, okay, so for today, we will go to, to the chart and see what did happen. <clears throat> so for today, the stock opens 175, it goes down to 173 they want to short more but it, it didn't work so they go long to 180 and then it stops at 176 uh, uh, now you see here that there is no much covering the people who, who want to um, uh, cover their short it's for today it's for Thursday this what you see here is for Thursday all what you see the black here from <clears throat> from 217.50 cent okay to the open which is 175.33 all this is happened on Wednesday now Thursday nothing has happened really okay some people want to short okay from 175 to 73 so I can uh, I can just um, I can just show show you with a chart with the uh, with explanation, okay. So <clears throat> so in the morning. So this is the open. 
175 this is the open then the stock goes down to 173 and the short sellers of today they see that there is a resist there is a, a support line they can't they can't go below it it means they find um, no support no it means no a lot of people want to go down more and more it means to sell short they can't they just it's it just it stops now then the stock has gone to 180 okay so from 173 to 80 this is a seven dollars okay seven dollars in the morning and then the people begin to uh, sell because you know as you as you might know all this is day traders so and the close one 167 this is the close this is what happened today so as you can see today which is thursday nothing really happened that much okay in terms of price so it opens 175 it closed at 176 it means it's only one dollar that happened today now yesterday it was 44 dollars down and you see the difference you see the difference between the news of yesterday and today there is no news okay so this is what happened <clears throat> now what is the future of facebook right now i'm telling you you should see these following weeks if the stock stops going down and it is heading to go up this is a very good sign and maybe uh, all these 44 dollars that you see lost it will be regained in the future if there are buyers maybe mutual funds who who saw <coughs> a good opportunity to buy now because understand that it is 44 dollars lost from the stock now if this is an opportunity for some mutual funds or some investors to buy but i'm telling you if the stock continue to go down in the following weeks or following months that means there is a big sell off for facebook so be careful for what you are doing with facebook okay this is this is the two scenario that i that i see but understand that for me um, i don't trade in the future i'm trading now so when i see a new information i act on this new information right now there is no information so i can tell if the stock will be going up or going down only the following days following weeks it will show us where is F facebook is heading okay so thank you very much for watching and if you have questions as usual ask uh, questions or send me a private message thank you very much and have a nice night